Okay, so today we're harvesting our Jerusalem artichokes, also called sunchokes or fartichokes for fun. Um, they are actually a tuber that grows into big stalks with these really like pretty looking sunflower-esque blooms. Uh, the tubers are really prolific. So once you get them in the ground, you want to make sure that it's somewhere that you're either okay with it spreading and taking over in all its glory or a pot with a bottom in it or a raised bed with a bottom because they may even grow through that. Um, in our barrels, they have seeped out into the, um, the rocks around them, but it's fine. We have them mostly contained. They're super fibrous and they're full of like prebiotic, um, good gut bacteria and stuff, which means you can have too much of a good thing. <laughs> I made a bowl, like just roasted a bunch of them for dinner once, and we didn't have any other um, vegetables or fibrous foods to offset the gases, and it was quite entertaining. So we're going to see how much we get out of this pot. This is the only spot we planted it. And something else we really want to emphasize is that um, these are not super shelf stable, but they store in the ground. So you don't have to harvest them until you want to eat them. And the, you know, the, you can even, even when the stalks are here, if you really want to have some, you can clear them and harvest the tubers um, and even replant more. So they're a great food security crop when supply chains are down and potatoes are out <laughs> or whatever. They're a great thing to be able to have in the ground that will multiply and produce a lot in a small space. The only issue is, um, one reason why you probably don't see them at the grocery store is they don't last long out of the ground. So you want to either ferment them to preserve them or dry them or um, eat them right away or replant them, however, share them. Um, it was hard to find seeds as well and or tuber, you know, to plant. So I actually ordered a small, like one pound, little bag of sunchokes when they were in season in the spring from Azure Standard and planted them like they were to eat but I planted them and that's how we got our initial seed for our um, sunchoke supply and it's just been ongoing since then and this is year three so as you can see we're next to an electrical box so we're not digging in the ground here and um, this is the only place that we've planted them uh, and we're getting, you're going to see where you get a lot out of a really small space. So this is a great little side security crop to have and not have to think about. We don't water it. It, it just grows naturally, you know, and you'll see it on um, the side of the road or like in partially shaded areas, like on the side of a meadow or they're just really hardy perennials that will come back and are easy and once you see know what they look like with the flowers and stuff in the summer you'll know where to go where you can forage them out wherever in your community um, in fields and gullies and stuff like that so anyways I want to see how much we got bits and stuff so as you can see, they're just like this and they just get packed and they get really packed on the bottom too. Okay. There we go. They have um, a really nutty kind of flavor to them when you like, you know, roast them and cook them and stuff. So they don't taste like a potato. Ah, now we're getting to them. They really like to hug the sides. 
because <laughs> their goal is to expand and conquer. <laughs> I think I mentioned that we didn't water these bunch, just whatever rain and stuff. Um, so they are very drought tolerant and obviously cold hardy. We're in 6B. Um, I'm not sure like how far they go necessarily, but it's always worth trying. Well, so our goal is to get everything out though, and um, we'll save a couple of the biggest ones to replant for this next year's harvest and see how that does. Ooh, that's a good one. So our harvest is complete, but I pulled out the bigger ones because since we've harvested, now we're going to plant and repeat the process. So I don't want to wait to replant these because they're not going to last very long, just as tubers. Um, and I'll forget about them. <laughs> so getting them in the ground so they're already ready as perennials to sprout up in the spring is exactly what we want to do. So these are some of our bigger ones, and we're gonna do six. Yes, <laughs> okay. So we're just going under the surface. Man, uh, some words to the wise is probably not using a wooden barrel um, because as we were digging these out, they were really encrusted on the bottom and they're growing through because this decomposes. Oh look, there's another baby um, at some point. But then again, we did get these pots free six years ago or five years ago at our, oh, there's another little one, <laughs> at our local church. And they were giving them away and I was like, hey, hey. Um, so these are our free barrels. So that's why we've used them. But if you were starting out and you wanted them in a container that you could use again and again, I would definitely recommend um, something with a metal bottom so that they don't eat their way through um, decomposing wood, which they really seem to like. But anyway, so there, we've harvested, we've replanted, and we will repeat the process next year. Um, it's so awesome to be able to get something fresh in the winter that we can use right away and ferment and enjoy. Um, during the summer, we don't harvest it even though you could because there's so many other things to eat. So this is kind of our winter, um, not so much a storage crop, but a surplus that we can enjoy and share. We also plan on sharing some of these. So local peeps, if you want to try and grow your own sunchokes, um, hit us up, send us a message through either a comment on the thing or Instagram or Facebook or whatever. We're in Bartlesville, Oklahoma, and we really want to encourage people to um, be more resilient in their own lives, um, cut down the supply chain of food, traveling here, um, and just really encourage and support local growers. So be sure to share this video so you guys are harvesting and planting and repeating your own cycle of uh, everlasting supply of sunchokes, okay? Thanks so much.